long sit, toe touch. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna sit on our butt with our feet together. Okay, I'm gonna pull my toes up towards my shins and I'm gonna hinge at the hips. I wanna try to pull my belly button forward. I don't wanna just break at the back here. I wanna stay up nice and tall, nice big chest. So from here, I'm trying to keep my knees nice and straight, take long controlled breaths. And as I exhale, I'm trying to sink deeper and deeper into that stretch. Now, if the long sit toe touch is uncomfortable, there's some things that we can do instead. So keeping in mind that same shape, now we're gonna introduce a foam roller. Okay, so from here, I'm using the foam roller to guide, okay? But I'm also using it to create some pressure in my abs. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep my elbows straight and I'm pushing down on that foam roller as I exhale and reach forward. So from here, we can go for reps or we can sit in the position for longer. Making sure that as I do my toe touch, I'm not just hinging at my spine. I wanna actually pull my belly button with me so we're not just moving the back, we're moving from the hips. So if we're having trouble finding leverage in this situation, what we can do is we can take a super band, put it around our feet and give it a tug. So in this position here, I can use my arms and I can use my lats to pull myself forward deeper into the stretch. This is gonna help somebody that maybe can't quite touch the toes yet and use leverage from there. So we're gonna use the leverage with our band, pulling our chest forward, our belly button forward. Again, making sure we're not slouching here from the back. Moving along with our toe touch idea, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go from the standing position. So I'm gonna stand with my feet together, okay? I'm gonna take a nice deep breath in, so from here, I'm gonna look my eyes down first, push my hips back, sit them back towards the wall behind me, and reach for my toes. I wanna make sure that I'm exhaling as I go here. Okay, as I exhale, I'm trying to pull my ribs down towards my hips, okay, and complete that shape. Now, if this is a difficult position for you, and you still wanna try that loaded movement, what we can do is, instead of keeping the knees straight, we can, Bend the knees slightly as we hinge back, and that's gonna allow us to get further down here, stretching the low back without getting too much tension in the hips and hamstrings. So there are different ways that we can add variety to this movement. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get a dowel here, okay? You can use a plate as well. You can use some sort of like small ramp or so. Okay, anything that's gonna put your heels or your feet at an elevated position. So we're gonna elevate the heels first, keeping them together, deep breath in. I wanna sit my hips again back towards the wall behind me. Exhale and reach as far as I can. Okay, so here we can just Focus on pulling the ribs down towards the hips, okay? And just breathe in that position, or we can go for repetitions. Now on the other side here, we're gonna bring the stick onto our toes. So I'm gonna elevate the toes here, okay? So keep it a nice good shape, knees straight, deep breath in. Eyes go down towards the toes. I'm gonna sit my hips back and reach. Now again, with both positions here, with the heels elevated and the toes elevated, we're getting different looks here. And if you find that one is more difficult than the other, you can, you can work at that a little bit more, okay? But also keep in mind, you can still bend the knees if you need to, to get more of a stretch in the low back, bypassing the hips and hamstrings. Next, I like to add a little bit of variety here with the yoga blocks. So one thing that's really nice about the yoga blocks is there's three different heights that I can see. I can get it medium, I can get it tall, and I can get it small. So what we're gonna do here is, let's start in the tall position, and I'm gonna put my yoga blocks just outside my feet here, okay? So in this position, I don't have to reach too far to touch the yoga blocks. I'm gonna take a nice deep breath in, exhale, and push into those yoga blocks. Okay, so here I'm able to recruit more of my abs, okay? I can get into like a higher threshold in this position, but this is kind of easy. I think, I think we can go to a smaller block. Let's try it at the lowest position here. Okay, so same kind of thing, deep breath in, exhale, reach, and push, push. So just in that position there using the blocks, I can number one, accommodate my own range of motion, and two, I can create higher level thresholds, okay, by just driving into those blocks, recruiting my abs more, which should help me relax my low back and hamstrings 
as I push further into the stretch. Yoga block inchworms. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna set the yoga blocks up just outside shoulder width. I'm gonna get into my tall plank position and from here I'm gonna take a deep breath in. Exhale as I walk my toes up. So from here I'm actually trying to pull my toes up as I go, bringing my belly button up towards the ceiling. And now I'm pressing my hands into the floor, getting my abs to fire. And then we're gonna walk down and repeat. Make sure that as we get into the long position, I don't dump my hips down. I wanna keep my tail tucked. All right, knee straight, deep breath in, exhale. Walk those feet up, toes towards the shins. Push into the yoga blocks. And back to the starting position. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Stay up to date with what's happening in the gym and learn more on how you can crush your fitness goals by going to dmpfit.com. There you'll have access to the latest articles, videos, and links to my social media pages. If you're interested in joining the DMP Fit community, be sure to like and hit the subscribe button. We'd love your support.